Hey, Sagittarius. How goes it? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Sheila Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. Definitely an interesting message, but a great message at that. For you guys, for June 16th to the 30th, I know I'm late, but I am pushing these out so I can start the July ones. I don't know. June has just been so busy for me, guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm, energy wise, I just playing catch up. Me and June, I don't know what it was, but I'll tell you, life happens, right? All right. So, hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time stopping in, hello. Thank you. And let's get started. So, Oracle card says, be decisive. All right. Be decisive. Which is kind of interesting. Know that you have, I feel like what I'm hearing is know that you have other options or other choices, but you have to make the decision. Don't know how that's going to resonate, but that's what I'm feeling. All right. So. You are in this place, guys, where. I kind of feel like you want to have the last say in something. You know, I kind of feel like you're in this place of being like, not so much your way or the highway, but it's being, you want your voice to be the last voice that someone hears. So you could be coming through a conflict or a situation in June and this person's going to test you and spirit is bringing this person as a test for sure. Like they're bringing this person towards you because for some reason you really need to learn. I don't want to say keep your mouth shut, but I feel like you need to really focus on how you're reacting to other people because we have the justice. So that's allowing things to unfold, but allowing karma to handle it. So, Let's say you get into an argument. Let's say you get in conflict. Let's say you get into some type of fight. And unless it's literally where, you know, your safety is in jeopardy, then I'd say do what you need to do. But if you know this person is shady, if you know this person is full of shit, if you know this person is all talk, I feel like what Spirit is saying with the justice coming up is that you can sit here and you can argue until you're blue in the face. You can attack this person back. But at the end of the day, is that going to make you feel any better? No. Because even though you're trying to have the last word in this, it's not going to end here. So you may think that you're getting the last word, but you're not. And neither is this other person. It's just going to be never ending. So Spirit's saying... Let this person go, you know, wish them well, forgive them, accept that their time in your life has ended Sagittarius, but put your energy elsewhere because this, this right here, it's a losing battle. Be the emperor, be the badass bitch I know you can be, be that strong individual that says, you know what, you can stand there and talk about my flaws. You can stand there and talk about, you know, what I do for a living. You can stand there and talk about what I look like. But at the end of the day, that's your opinion versus how I feel about myself. You know? And I mean, I know it's easier this said than done, but if if someone's coming at you and it's about your kids, nah, I'd say let them have it because I, I'd protect my, my kids as well. But I just feel like you just need to be the emperor who's more stable, more strong, more determined. You don't have to prove anything to anyone else. You just need to prove it to yourself. And that's literally what I feel with the emperor coming up for this reading. All right. Move through six of wands. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people that aren't going to believe in your dreams. You're going to have people that are going to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. You're going to have people that will tell you you shouldn't date that person. You shouldn't see that person. 
But at the end of the day, it's your life and you have to live your own life, Sagittarius. You need to move this. You need to move through whatever situation this refers to, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a situationship or a friendship. If you know there's people that don't support you, if you know there's people that have want to have an opinion, again, let them. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Doesn't mean you have to listen to it. Let them have their opinion. Because at the end of the day, you're going to ultimately do what you need to do for you. And if you're not, then it's about getting on board and doing what you need to do for you. Because you're divinely protected. We have the Page of Pentacles. This is God literally wrapping his arms around you saying, you know what? Whatever, whatever decision you make, whatever choice you make, I'm standing behind you. All right. I feel like this is also some news coming in. Maybe you guys have been waiting on a job offer. Maybe you were in relate or waiting on a relationship offer to come through. Maybe a house. Maybe you um, are getting the car you want. Something like that. There's something come through for the month of June for Sagittarius. But you need to be in this place with the empress. You need to take care of you. You know, not just your physical, not just your mental, your spiritual. You know, there's doors opening all over the place. But you have to know what you need. You have to know what you want. Some of you could be finding out you're pregnant. Some of you could be finding out someone close to you is pregnant during this time. I feel like where you are, hard work is going to pay off. Queen of Pentacles. This is being patient. This is just knowing that I'm protected. You know, against whatever anyone says. I'm protected. I know spirit has my back. I know God has my back. And the only judgment that I need to worry about is God's judgment. I don't mean to go spiritual on you know, because I know a lot of people don't believe in God, but I really feel like that that is the message right now is that the only person who has any right to judge you right now is God and God will never judge you. God loves you. Okay. So move, look, look ahead. Queen of Cups, be, be stable, be solid in your foundation of where you are. If it feels right to you and it makes you happy, who the hell cares what anyone else thinks? You're going to go through different challenges. You're going to go through emotional barriers. But you're going to get you're going to come out of it. You're going to find yourself against all odds, against all the people that said you couldn't do it. Your haters, your crowds, right? But it's about healing. We have temperance coming up. It's about healing. You know, bring that spark back into your life. Whatever, whatever dimmed your light, whatever made you feel like you weren't worth something, wish them well and move on. Because it's about healing. It's about bringing, bringing what, what, what once was, how, however that means to you. But I feel like you gave something away and now you're trying to get it back. And I feel like it's going to come back to you because we have 10 of cups. This is that family. This is love. This is harmony. Everything that you guys could possibly want is here. It totally is here. It's just accepting it. All right. Divine timing, strength card, patience. Don't settle. Keep looking for them. Keep looking ahead because go see what else is out there. There's something else out there for you from what you've been holding on to. All right. So into the Oracle cards, we got a few today and I actually, I don't really, 
they were flying cards. So when flying cards come up, I really feel like it's a message for someone. So with these Oracle cards that came flying at me, usually I only pick like two, but I took all four today. Um, so I'm hoping the message gets to whoever it needs to, but so we have donkey and it says, keep your heart open no matter what. All right. This card indicates that you have been through or still undergoing some sort of test or in initiation. You may feel it has been unfair, but your soul undertook it to advance you to a higher spiritual level. Such challenges help you to develop qualities of patience, forbearance, and courage. Accept this, stay central, calm, and keep your heart open. Use all experiences to strengthen yourself, and you will move into a higher spiritual level. Then everything will feel worthwhile as you will see with enlightened eyes. When you pass an ini sorry, when you pass initiation, you are always rewarded. So something much better is coming into your life. When you receive this car card, <laughs> Archangels, Mary and Gabriel touch you with love and encouragement. That's really beautiful. The second card that says that came up says giraffe. Aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. When you receive this card of higher wisdom, it suggests that you look beyond the limitations of your current circumstances and situations. Continue to fulfill your daily commitments and responsibilities diligently. While you explore your life from a higher perspective, you may then see things very differently. Internal change inevitably follows, and this is automatically reflected in your world. You are also asked to tune into your home planet in sleep or mediation, meditation, mediation, <laughs> meditation, and to connect to a ray of truth so that you can understand the true wisdom of your soul. Giraffe wisdom reminds you to act graciously with dignity, serenity, and balance at all times. And this will enable you to fulfill your dreams and your destiny, standing your power as a point of light. It's beautiful too. Monkeys. I like this card. It's cute. Experience all that life has to offer. Like how... This, not only is the detail in these cards beautiful, guys, but, like, the message is, like, it's amazing. So I don't know if you guys have your own YouTube channel or you're thinking of doing um, Oracle cards or starting the Tarot World or whatever the case may be and you're wondering what animal deck I am using. It's by Deanne Cooper and it's Archangel Animal Oracle Cards. So it kind of looks like this. And it's just, it's amazing. I love it. So... Guidance. Focus on developing your right brain and your heart as this is the route to ascension and oneness. Take time out to relax, have fun, and just be. Enjoy your senses, love your food, smell the flowers, see beauty everywhere, touch your loved ones, and listen with loving expectations. Attune to the wonder of nature. Bring your family or community together in this way you are really connected with and understand oneness. It is important to be aware of your voice when you talk or sing. When it is warm and harmonious, the angels can use it to create songs that purify you and light you up. You'll radiate in a pool of healing around you, and this is not only sorry, and this not only helps others but attracts good into your life. Be carefree and joy, joyful, joyous. Okay, last but not least, we have Swan. Demonstrate grace and majesty. Your guidance from this card is to develop your regal qualities. Believe in yourself. Know you are special and beautiful. Trust your inner self and be confident. Act with calm, peace, and grace at all times. Even though your thoughts may be working over time, maintain a relaxed and serene exterior, and this will bring you to equilibrium. Be charming and pleasant, and at the same time, expect people to honor you and treat you with respect. If anyone oversteps that mark with you, make it perfectly clear that this is unacceptable and you're prepared to take action if necessary. That, see, that's what I was saying. Set a boundary, set some healthy limitation where, you know, if, if people are going to talk, let them talk. But if they get over over carried away or overworked or they just, they don't know when to shut up, then say your piece. All right. You will act as an energetic pool of peace, and this will soothe and calm everyone around you. Your pure light will then facilitate good relationships and better decisions as you are acting from wisdom and true power. All right, guys. So, beautiful message for you, Sagittarius, for June 16th to the 30th. 
I hope that makes some type of sense. I hope that helps you guys um, know that I'm sending you guys all positive vibes, love and light, and I will see you guys again for July. Take care.